Shannon, and I'm supposed to teach you something today. So, I'm going to teach you something I've been doing a lot of lately. Puzzles! Actually, I'm not going to teach you how to do a puzzle. Hopefully you know how to do a puzzle on your own. What I am going to show you is what to do after you finish the puzzle. Because what fun is it to do a puzzle when, when you finish it goes right back in the box? What you could do is glue it. Because then you can hang it and show it up. Because that's cool. But to show you, it's kind of helpful to have a puzzle that's not already glued. Like this one. Everyone likes puppies. It kind of needs to be done so I can show you. So give me a second. <laughs> Once you finish your puzzle, you kind of need to protect your table before you get glue all over it. So. I use plastic wrap because we have a lifetime supply of it. We could use parchment paper or foil or anything else that glue doesn't totally stick to, like cardboard or a puzzle. Now that your surface is nice and protected with its plastic wrap, we can move over and get some glue. You basically have two options when it comes to glue. White school glue and tacky glue. They both do the same thing, except one dries matte and the other one dries glossy. And this one also is really, really thick, and it's kind of like painting tar. And it's not fun. So I don't use it. I use this one. So, now we can slide over to the protected area with our plastic wrap. And, basically what you're trying to do is drown your puzzle in enough glue that it all goes into the little spaces between the pieces because that's what holds it together. But you know it's really helpful to do that? A paintbrush. So, you want like a brush brush that like has bristles? You could use one of those foam brushes but they tend to leave bubbles and that's no bueno. So, get some brush and like an inch wide is good. And basically Drown your puzzle and glue. And you could use like the little squirty cap, but you're gonna use a lot of glue. So just use the whole cap. Basically you just pour it and spread it. It's really easy. Pour it and spread it and turn the whole thing white. That's normal. And don't fret the corners, because those are important. This is now day two on how to glue a puzzle. It doesn't normally take two days to glue a puzzle, but in true Texas fashion, we had a malfunction in the weather yesterday when it decided to drop 30 degrees and rain and snow. So it took two days. But now it's dry. See? And it's still stuck to the plastic, but that's okay because it comes off really easily. Like so. And now it's dry. It's only glue on the front. Most puzzles, especially big puzzles, you want to glue on the back as well. This one's small enough that I don't really need to. But now that it's dry, you do have these little fringy things. And you can just cut those off with a knife or maybe even a pair of scissors. It's dry, so we can hang it up. And I'll show you what it looks like. Ooh. Now we have the puzzle hung up, and it looks awesome with the other puzzles hung and glued as well. Uh, it's pretty easy. You should try it and hang up those awesome puzzles you have. And, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya! Hey, you should go look at the blooper reel from this because it's pretty funny. And it's the other video from this that's titled Blooper Reel. So go check it out.